video and welcome back to my channel. It's Wendy here from Toon Pish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to show you a little technique that I've adapted. Now I've adapted it from Claire because Claire uses it for a jesmonite and it occurred to me why can't we use it for resin. So I've adapted this technique. I hope you get something out of this. It's a quick little video on how I do it. Yeah, let's have a look. So I have this little tiny mold and it's a flower mold. It came in a set of three and I'll try and link it down below if I can. But it's quite detailed. It's only small, but it is leveled. What I mean by leveled is it has different levels in the mold, different surface levels. And because it's leveled, you can put resin in the levels and it will stay there. Now I have used syringes before, I've used pipettes and I've even used piping bags and all three work but I decided to use a bottle. When I saw Claire using it, I thought that's a fantastic idea. I'm sure I can use that in resin. So I bought these little bottles from Amazon. I think they're primarily made for an electronic cigarette juice, but they are perfect. These are 10 ml bottles. They have a little metal nib that's quite long actually and does come out, so easy cleaning too. I am using Vista Turbo here, which is a fast curing resin. It cures in about four or five hours, fully cured. And as it was mixed about 20 minutes ago, it is quite warm and sticky. Now, because of that, it became easy to use in these little bottles. It piped like a dream. And yes, it still does self level. It will only level to the surface it is touching, if you see what I mean. So you can put it in all the little nooks and crannies and all the little deep parts of any resin mold that you're using and it will stay there. Now I had this resin left over, this red, it was for a different project and it doesn't necessarily go with the pieces that I'm doing but I wanted to use this bottle method and try it out so you guys can see how it works. And in these little flower molds, it was just perfect. You could pipe it in and it stayed there. I did keep wiping off the nib so that it didn't get clogged up with resin on the outside so it just went directly where I put it. It was a lot of fun too. And as this was leftover resin, I've got nothing to lose. No, I'm not claiming this is my technique. I have absolutely no idea of how other people use this and they probably do. It's, I would imagine, a quite common occurrence for people to use it. But if you don't use it and you've never seen it before, I thought I'd show you. I've never seen anyone use it, but it's definitely something I will be using more of in the future. Now it comes to a flatter mould and again it does have divots in it that are lower than the other parts of the mould so the resin will sit there. So I tried it and it was a lot of fun and I did know that the resin would self level but it's not going to move that much. These are old moulds, I just grabbed them out of the box. I used to make a lot of these wings though, quite a pretty mould. Now I'm no youngster, I'm getting on in the years quite happily mind you but as you get older your steadiness of your hand gets worse and this gives me a great deal more control but I had to do all three of the flowers red is a great color for flowers isn't it I got more confident with the bottle as I went up through and I don't want to scrape the molds because that would damage the mold but just touching it on the bottom, I knew where the bottom was so that it could eliminate most of the bubbles too. I did clean this bottle out with isopropanol alcohol and a cotton bud and a baby wipe. And it came up really clean. Great to use again. So two hours later, I could pour in the next level. I didn't put this in a curing machine. It is turbo resin. It does cure really quickly and it didn't have to be completely cured just enough so they wouldn't mix with the next layer. I mixed up a tiny bit of resin and I put a few different colours in each of the moulds. One was pink, most were white, I think one I put shimmer in and one was yellow. Made sure that I got every bit of this mould covered with a small amount of resin before I topped it up to the top because you can get bubbles in these resin moulds. And this one I decided to use yellow. Don't you just love yellow? And I thought yellow would go great with red. I thought it would really stand out so you could see the difference. A little squirt of isopropanol alcohol just to stop those surface bubbles. I don't use heat on my resin anymore. I did wait till the following day to demold these, but I was so excited to see how it had worked. 
Now you can see it has picked up the detail. It has moved slightly, but it's definitely got the detail. And the flowers, can't wait. I love these little flower mums, they're so cute. Yep, picked up the details and the colour behind has just brought that red out. Now the wings were not such a success. A little bit of overspill on the second one, but you can sort that out easy enough. But the method definitely worked. And the yellow one, my favourite. These are little pendant moulds, how cute is that? Oh, if I can keep it in my hands. And the last one is solid white. Absolutely beautiful. Well, I would say in the resin community and indeed in the crafting community, people take ideas from others and they adapt them and move them to their own needs. And that's what I've done with this technique. I hoped it's helped you. I have lots of things that I'm planning to do with this kind of technique in the future. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've got something out of this. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Have a great week. Happy crafting and bye for now.